hey guys assalamu alaikum it's me talha in this video i'm going to be sharing with you a free revit plugin that helps you create exploded views quickly and easily in revit as well as i'm going to be showing you how you can create this kind of diagram in revit but before i get started i would like to let you know about my website learnrevitonline.com where you can get my revit interior courses now let's get started so first to download the plugin you need to go to apps.autodesk.com here just search for level displacer here we have it you can just uh, click download here and once you install it you will find that plugin in the add ins tab here now before using this plugin we want to create the 3d view so let's go here 3d view and as you can see here i have opened this project i actually created this uh, project for a youtube video long time ago if you want to watch the tutorial on modeling this house you can check out the link in the description anyway now let's create a duplicate of this 3d view so just go here click click this plus icon and then right click duplicate view duplicate and you can see we got this new 3d view here let's rename it and call it exploded view perfect now we only want to create the diagram of this house so and let's crop this so for that we can use the section box here we have it just check this section box and let's zoom out a bit and go to the front view now i will just select this section box and use this handle and just drag that until the stairs here and on this side as well let's go to the right view and repeat the same select the section box and just drag this until here on this side as well and now we can just hide this section box so right click uh, on the section box and then hide in view and then elements perfect now we can use this plugin but before that i want to uh, do some changes in the graphic settings so let's go here in the visual settings and then click here graphic display options and here first i want to add shadows so just turn on both these and then go to lighting and increase the sun a bit as well as the ambient light and click apply and i think we need to reduce the shadows click apply again perfect now let's close this dialog box and go here and click level displacer and once you click on that you will get this dialog box here we can uh, specify the distance uh, of the exploded objects so right now by default it's set to 20 feet or 6 meters uh, I want to reduce it to 10 feet and for now I only want to explode this house in the Z axis so if you want to explode in the uh, Y or X axis you can put the distance here so we'll just leave it 10 feet in the Z axis now click OK there you go okay we'll just change the visual style to uh, hidden line so it won't lag now if I zoom in here you can see this some of these elements uh, from this uh, level 2 did not uh, displace because uh, I created these elements using model in place if you want to know how you can create these uh, curtains using model in place you can check out my tutorial link to that video also in the description anyway i will just quickly take these elements to the to this level here so i will just select this railing then edit in place and i will quickly go to the right view okay it's still lagging because of the screen recorder so i will just change the visual style to wireframe to work more smoothly let's move this railing here okay i think these extrusions are attached with the work plane here so i will just select all of these then edit work plane and just click dissociate now i can freely move these elements 
click finish and I will just check these curtains as well perfect now if I orbit around there is another uh, extrusion here which I want to take to the level 2 perfect but if you notice here this this curtain as well as this extrusion is not completely visible here the reason for that is the section box which we have created earlier so we want to go to the front view and adjust the section box uh, boundaries again okay we'll change it to wireframe then let's click this bulb icon and it will show all the hidden elements and you can see we have this section box boundary here let's select that and just drag this until here now we can hide the elements again by clicking this button perfect now the curtains and this extrusion is also completely uh, visible here okay I will just take this until here now if you notice here this vegetation family is also uh, got displaced and we don't want to displace these vegetation families so what we can do is just select this displacement set and then we'll get this edit button here just click it and then uh, we can just use this remove button and select all of these families which we don't want to displace there you go all these uh, fa families are now moved to the level one here now let's click finish now i think our uh, exploded view is ready we only need to add paths to these uh, displaced elements so let's select any of these elements and you will get this path uh, button here just click it and then we want to add a path to the edge of this wall here another one on that side then this corner as well as here and then we want to add uh, on this floor as well perfect now we can add the text to this diagram so to add the text we first need to lock this 3d view so let's set the camera angle and once you have set the camera angle you can just go here and click this lock icon and then save orientation and lock view if you don't lock this camera view Revit will not allow you to uh, to add the text in this 3d view so just click here to lock and you can see we cannot uh, orbit uh, around uh, in this view anymore this uh, this navigation uh, tool also is now disabled now we can easily add the text to this diagram so to add the text let's go to annotate tab and here select text and then we get these four options and we want to use this one segment and then let's click here uh, and create this leader until here and let's type rooftop and then we can just select this whole text and click here to underline it now let's create another one here for this level one and let's type here level one and then select the text and let's underline it and then create another one from here and call it ground floor select the text and underline perfect now we can uh, add uh, another text here below this one so let's select the text again and it will be bedroom and home office or whatever it will be now we want to reduce the size of this text so let's select that edit type duplicate let's leave it like that click ok and here we have the parameter for the text size so let's put 0.1 inch 
click OK. OK, it's way too small. So I will just increase the size a bit. Let's put 0 0.15 inch. And of course, if you want to change the font, you, you have the parameter here. You can just click this drop down and select the font you like. So for now, I want to leave it on the default. Now let's click apply. Seems perfect. Click OK. Now just select this text and use the arrow keys to adjust the placement of this text. Perfect. Let's create another one here for the ground floor. We'll type here kitchen and living. Now select this text and change the style to this one which we have just created. Let's adjust the placement of this using the arrow keys perfect so we have created the text here now we can style uh, these text leaders or, or these lines here so to style this we can just select the text and then edit type and here we have the line weight so we want to increase the line weight to 5 and we want to change the leader head as well so here we have it leader arrow head we want to use this one this dot field let's click apply okay and zoom in here you can see the arrow head of this leader is changed but the the dot is way too small and if you notice here the line weight also did not change the reason for that is the thin lines is uh, enabled here if i turn it off you'll see the actual line weight of this leader now we want to increase the size of this dot so let's select this one again edit type click this drop down and let's try this one click apply seems perfect so our exploded diagram is ready we can now export it so before exporting we need to make sure the we need to adjust the crop uh, region of this view so to do that first click this button to show crop region and you can see we got this crop region in the middle of this now we can click here to crop this view perfect now let's uh, adjust this crop region so our diagram is ready to be exported so to export it just go to file export and just hover over this little arrow and you will get more options here uh, you just need to hover over these images and animations and then click image here you can put your own size of this image but the best way is to use this option zoom to make it 100 percent and then you can choose the file type so you'll select jpeg medium and then we can increase the raster image quality here let's try 300 and then i will just click change here let's call it exploded view hidden line click save and then click ok so this view is now exported now let's change the visual style to realistic and export again go to file export and then images and animations and then image let's change the name of this let's call it exploded view realistic click save and then just make sure all the settings are okay here and then click ok perfect so that's how you can create the exploded views in revit so that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior courses. You can follow the first link in the description and yeah see you guys in the next video.